Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video, you're going to be coming with me to go see a band called Be Born Baton. They're not a goth band, they're a synth pop band, and if you've been with me for a while, you probably remember I posted this video several years ago. It is a band that I saw when I was a wee little baby bat, and I told the story about when I went to see them and I brought them cupcakes. I kind of tell the story about going to see Be Born Baton, and the thing about synth pop music, and it's something that you'll notice. So synth pop music is very much goth adjacent, but if you listen to synth pop music now, say you're listening to things like Male Tears, Choir Boy, you're going to notice that it's different than synth pop from back in the day. So if you're hearing it here for the first time, you're going to see that from back in the 90s and early 2000s, that synth pop sounds very different from this synth pop. If I were to kind of try to put it into words, I would say that I think modern day synth pop is very much like a continuation of new wave like if new wave continued on throughout the years and it just started to evolve but not change i think that modern day synth pop is what that would be but older synth pop like the band i'm going to take you to see be born baton is a little bit different and i can't put my finger on as to why but maybe you in the comments can help me out so why am I making the distinction between genres? Why do I have to point out that they're synth pop? Because number one, you're gonna be asking me in the comments, you're gonna be like giving me a little finger wag, like that's not goth music, I know. So it's also for education because we're all about education here, we're all about guidance, we're all about helping along the baby bats. Synth pop has always been very much kind of adjacent to the subculture because it's things that we will put side by side on mixtapes with other things, blends really well on the dance floor, the things that we listen to. So it's important that we make the distinction so you're able to find the music a lot easier as well because back in the day we were not as big on genre distinction as people are nowadays now you have genre subgenre sub subgenre subgenre genre sub subgenre genre but back when i was younger you'd look at a club pass and be like goth industrial or goth new wave industrial and then as time went on goth new wave industrial synth pop I want to say I was probably about 18 or 19 years old when the band Be Born Baton originally came to play, and they played a night called Detour, which is a night that I frequented on Long Island, and my ex's band were opening up for them. So since they were opening up for them, we had to get there early, and I was going to get to meet the band. And I figured, okay, well, we have a few hours before the club opens. I'm going to make them cupcakes. So my dorky ass is in my parents' kitchen a couple of hours before the event, and I'm mixing up batches of cupcakes to bring and um, they didn't eat them. My ex ate most of them in the car before we even got in, but they uh, no, they did not have any cupcakes. So I go to see them again 22 years later, and spoiler alert, I've already been to the show. And after they played, which was an amazing show by the way, I had to bring up the cupcakes. So after the show, I see them, I meet them, I take a picture with them, and I say, okay, 22 years ago, I brought you a batch of cupcakes when you guys were doing sound check at Detour the last time you guys were here and they joked and said they remembered the cup oh they were the best cupcakes I'm like you fucking liars but no they, they didn't remember the cupcakes but they were good sports about it I remember them though and that's all that matters but I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm gonna get to the vlog so what are we doing we are going to see Be Born Baton which is a band that I talked about in a previous video that I saw over 20 years ago and ironically they have not been back States since then and I might tell the story again just to kind of refresh people it's a funny story but it is in Amityville and I'm happy that more and more things are happening on Long Island because we need more stuff in New York in general we just we get a lot of stuff but Long Island doesn't get as much and we used to have a really big 
been 22 years and um, we were really excited to be playing. This is what it's like to be short. And, um, I think you are excited as well. Great, that makes me real comfortable. So, um, we are about to start off with our new single which will be featured on our new EP, To The Stars, which will be in stores November 22. Vinyl and digital only, no CDs. Take care of the, of the environment, no more CDs, please. So this is American Girls. Woo! 